Okay. So I, I could play a lot between markup, discount, and profit percentages. Okay. For example, I could give you the markup as 25 percent, and uh, the profit as uh, only 10 percent. Okay. So there was a markup of 25 percent, but there is a profit of only 10 percent. That means there must be a discount. What is the discount percentage? Okay. So I I will start with CP again. I mean, I'm not going to form those multiple equations. I'll start with CP. 25% increase means 5 by 4. The moment I multiply it by 5 by 4, this whole thing has become the mark price. Okay. Now, there must be a discount. Otherwise, there would have been 25% profit. Okay. There is a multiplying factor. I don't know what it is, which would take me to the selling price. But the selling price I know is also 11 by 10 CP because there is a profit of 10%, which means selling price is 10% more than CP. So SP is 11 by 10 CP. So connect these two. The CP CP gets cancelled, and you start working out A by B is equal to 44 by 50 or 22 by 25. That means the multiplying factor is 22 by 25, discount multiplying factor. That means there is a reduction of 3 by 25. And 1 by 25 is 4%, so 3 by 25 would be 12%. So in this story, the discount would be 12%. Okay. So we can obviously we can do a lot of this, but uh, there are other ways which in which a discount can be provided for. Okay. For example, I'm sure all of you have heard this story that uh, if you buy five items, you get one free, right? You buy five, you get one free, right? Or you buy three, you get two extra for that kind of a deal. So uh, here also a discount is being offered, but that discount is being hidden in a story form, okay? So what is happening here? Uh, so think in terms of uh, the, the list price as such, okay? So how many items did you get five and one you got six items now if you look at the tag price of it just before wearing the shirt and before throwing the tag away and you look at the tag price of it and the tag price let's say is the list price so how what will be your calculation how much should you have paid you should have paid six into the uh, instead of lp let's write mark price you should have paid six mark price right but what you did pay was five mark price because you paid for five items there was no other discount right so the the price should have been six mark price right that means the overall mark price should have been six mark price but the overall selling price for you was or what you paid for him was was five mark price right so basically it was six x and it became five x there is a discount of x right and in percentage terms, there is a discount of X on 6X. We calculate discount on the mark price only. So X by 6X, 1 by 6, we get 16.66% discount. That means giving one item free on buying five items is giving the same as uh, uh, giving a discount of 16.66%. So if you if you go to a shop and he says, do you want uh, one item <coughs> free on five items or do you want 16.66% discount? Do not get confused. They are the same thing. We look at more examples of this stuff. So let's say if on, uh, on seven items, uh, two items or buy seven, get two free. That's the scheme that is being offered. And in another place, uh, there is a discount of 20% being offered. Which deal should you go for? You can only go for one deal. Okay. So first of all, straight away, if you've learned from the previous example, your answer straight away is going to be 2 by 9. And 2 by 9 is going to be 22.22%. So this deal is equal to 22.22%. The other deal had only a profit of uh, discount of 20%. As a buyer, you want a deal with better discount, so you should go for this deal and not go for that deal. But let's revise the theory once again also. Let's say each of the item price written on the uh, written on the tag label was one rupee. So, so uh, you got a total of seven and two nine items. So you should have paid nine rupees, right? That means the mark price for what you have 
got in this whole deal should have been 9 rupees we are taking rupees as an example we actually do not know whether the cost is 1 rupee or whatever okay so uh, 9 rupees but what you pay what you said buy 7 only right so the other two were free so 7 and everything was for 1 rupee so you paid 7 rupees so the actual selling price was only 7 rupees right so you can see there is a discount of 2 rupee on a base of 9 rupee i know discount is mark price as a base right so therefore 2 by 9 22.22 percent so the shortcut would be buy if the general form is buy x get y free your answer is going to be there is a discount of y upon x plus y percent converting this fraction into percentage of course yeah once again if on buying x item you get y free there is overall a discount of y upon x plus y 2 upon 7 plus 2 is 2 by 9 yeah stop there is one more way you've seen this discount being offered uh, especially on a cola bottle typically which has been going on for a long time was that 20 percent extra or if you go to a mall uh, 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 to buy like uh, grocery packets sometimes you'll see 20 percent extra 10 percent extra okay so extra quantity is being provided which is the same as saying uh, uh, buy something and get something free but the information is given in percentage form so let's say it is given 20 percent extra right so we should remember that this 20 percent is connecting two numbers it is connecting the extra amount to the original amount right so that means uh, and if we use the fraction it becomes even easier for us one by five extra so if i take five as the original there is one extra being provided right right so let's say if you had five kg and if you get one kg extra this extra is what percentage of the original 1 by 5 would be 20 percent are we okay with that so 20 percent extra means on every five items you're getting one item free so saying get buy five get one free is the same as saying 20 percent extra but the discount here involved we know when we have this situation the discount involved is 1 by 6 you can work the same logic again Let's say the, the, the grocery that you are buying is 50 rupees per kg. The price is written as 50 rupees per kg. You got 6 kgs of that. So you should have paid 300 rupees, right? But you paid for only 5 kg. So 5 into 50, you, you paid 250. So there is a discount of 50 on a base of 300 or 1 by 6, 16.66%, right? So this might be confusing so pay attention carefully this situation and this situation are same and both of them actually mean a discount of 16.66 percent 20 percent extra means a 16.66 percent discount buy five get one free means a 16.66 percent discount buy five get one free also means the same as giving 20 percent extra we should look at a couple of more examples to get comfortable with this system okay stop uh, uh, let's say a trader claims to give 14.28 percent extra amount okay yeah 14.28 means 1 by 7 so 1 on 7 1 is being provided extra so i can take this number 7 and 1 so buy 7 kg get 1 kg if you look at the numbers again the total is obviously 8 kgs right so you are getting 8 kg but you're paying only for 7 there is a discount of 1 1 on a base of 8 right so if you get 14.28 percent extra deal somewhere it is the same as saying 12.5 percent discount you need to take your time figure this out for yourself okay but this is the case or saying buy seven get one free uh, is the same as getting a 12.5 percent discount or you can frame the language again that when you buy eight one is free that you can do directly that means the discount is one by eight Let's say our trader marks up his wares by 50%, uh, whatever stuff, whatever items he has, he marks it up by 50%. But he also claims to give, uh, let's say, 25% extra. 
He claims to give 25% extra quantity whenever you buy. Is that okay? So if you buy X quantity, he will give you 5 by 4 <coughs> of that amount. Okay. So I know this, I know this markup. So straight away CP into 50% means 1 by 2. Increase of 50% means 3 by 2 into this 25 percent extra i know this architecture i know here the discount will come in because from markup if i apply the discount i'll get to the selling price and i'll get the profit percentage because i would have connected the selling price and the cost price but this doesn't give me my discount percentage directly it is hidden here 25 percent extra means on four you're getting one extra on that means a total of five that means a discount of one by five is being offered or a discount of 20 percent that means a multiplying factor which is also visible there is four by five is that okay which is equal to sp so so we get cp into six by five is equal to sp which means a profit of uh, 20 percent 1 by 5 is 20 percent so from the previous example we know 25 percent extra means a discount of 20 percent and that is now being used in a question, kind of question that we have already seen earlier i hope all of this made sense okay. stop